Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nobis. Today I'm going to be making something that has been requested for such a long time. A castle cake. I got a lot of requests for a Princess Peach castle cake. I got a lot of requests for a Bowser castle cake. A Merlin castle cake. A Dungeons and Dragons castle cake. So I thought today I'm going to make a basic castle cake and then you can customize it to make it whatever magical themed mythical fanciness you would like. The things you will need will be three of these. These are paper towel cardboard tubes. Usually I just recycle these, but just hang on to them because we're gonna be using these to make our castle pillars. Scissors, spatula, cake leveler. I have a cardboard cake tray. This awesome thing that I got from Michaels, it adds texture, so it adds wood texture and like old stone castle texture. This was pretty cool and I thought I've got to play with that to make this castle cake. Yeah. A square cake pan, this is a six inch, and I've already pre-made two cakes, boop, boop, and you can either do a pound cake recipe or a yellow cake. I chose to do a yellow cake. Fresh strawberries and chocolate frosting, or you can use chocolate ganache, whatever you like. So the first thing you're going to do is take your cake leveler and just going to level both the cakes so that they're the same height. Back and forth, back and forth, like you're a lumberjack, just sawing, saw, 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 saw. Then you're going to take off the tops of the cake like this, the muffin tops. These are so yummy. These are one of my favorite parts. And you can feed these to your awesome camera guy because he loves these <laughs> or share them with friends. Now that you've got your cakes leveled, you're going to take this cardboard, place it down. You're going to just take your first cake. I'm just going to put it right in the middle. Okay. Now you're going to take chocolate frosting or chocolate ganache, whatever you'd like, and put a coat down. Once you frosted the top of your first cake, I'm just going to take strawberries. I just chopped them up so that they would lay flat. I love doing this. I started putting fresh fruit in my cakes and I just love it. Oh, chocolate strawberry filling. Yummy, 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 yummy. Now we're going to take the second cake. Ooh. Put them right on top. Now you're just going to take your little mush spatula and you're going to frost all the edges. Once you got your cake all frosted on all sides and the top, we're going to stick it in the freezer for about 20 minutes to let it chill. And just make sure that all the sides are smooth. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can miss a few spots. That's okay. Just make sure everything's very smooth because we're going to put fondant on top of it. When your cake is in the freezer, we are going to be making the castle pillars. So this is a good time to do this. You're going to need three of these, but I just did one just to show you guys how to do it. This is a paper towel roll. So they're a good thing to hold on to to save. Or I ripped out two right out of the middle. I kind of had to wiggle it out of there, but I got it out. So you're going to need scissors. And what you're going to do is you're just going to cut it right in half. Doesn't have to be perfect. And that is the perfect height but we want them to be a little bit smaller. So what you're gonna do is cut right down the middle. And then you're just gonna eyeball it, but I kind of put it together, I guess it's about an inch. Then you're just gonna take a piece of tape, stick it there, and there you go. Once you've made five of these, we are gonna roll out some gray fondant, like I've got here. I'm just got a little rolling pin. So to wrap this, you're going to take this little guy, stick him down right here at the end. And I like to cut the top and the bottom so it's a little flatter, easier to work with. Starting point. There we go. And then you're just going to pick up the fondant, pressing it against the pillar, and roll, 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 roll. Oh, I made a little sushi. And then you connect the end and the back just by pressing it together. Pinch, pinch, pinch. And then to finish your pillar, you're going to take your stone print and you're going to lay it down. There's a lot of different techniques to this, but this is what I like the best. And you're going to start it at one end and just stick your thumbs in, press down. You can press down a little bit on the top too. Just be gentle. 
but you can be very firm. Stick your finger in there, and push, push, and then roll it towards you while pushing down and just all the way down. Ba-doom! There we go. That's how to add some texture on there. Now that we got our pillars done, we are gonna make the castle door. You're gonna take a little bit of brown fondant, just lay it down. Boop, 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 boop. Taking a rolling pin, just rolling it out. Now you're gonna take your wood imprint, you're just gonna place it on the top, and just press down. Now you're gonna peel it up. Pew! Oh, look how cool that looks. Now you're gonna take a circle cookie cutter, and I just press down on the top of the circle. Like so. And I take off the excess. Then I'm gonna cut on the wood line to make the door. Ta-da! That's how you get your little castle door. Now we're gonna make the peaks of the tower. I've already made one here so you can see what they look like. And they just sit right on top of our little pillar. Here, look how cute that is. This is chocolate flavored fondant that I'm using. And it is yummy and it smells so good. Okay, so I'm just taking, this is dark chocolate fondant. I'm just gonna lay it down, then roll it out. And then the first thing I did to build these little peaks is take a teeny little circle cookie cutter, a little teeny one. Do, 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 do. Cut out a little circle. I'll put them right here. And then with this excess, I'm just rolling it. So make a good shape and I just go pew, pew, pew. It looks like a Hershey's kiss. Okay, then I'm gonna put it on top, this little circle. And then for the last, final step to make it look very smooth, I'm gonna cut a straight edge, cut another edge. And then I'm just gonna wrap it all the way around on the outside so that it's really smooth and seamless. In the back, you'll have all the excess like that. I'm just gonna cut it off. Don't need it. Just pinch it together. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Now we're gonna make these little windows. They go on all of these pillars. Isn't that so cute? I just left a strip that we cut earlier. And again, just press down with the top of the cookie cutter. And then cut straight and cut across. And you easy peasy. And you're just gonna make seven of these. I just took the cake out of the freezer and now you're gonna take this big chunk of gray fondant I put it on top of the wax paper and we're gonna roll it out and then put it on top of the cake. Mm. Mm. Once you got your fondant rolled out, you're gonna take this big plastic rolling pin, I like these for working with fondant, and you're just gonna lightly roll it, just like we did the pillars. Just roll, 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 roll. To pick up the fondant, bring it over, and gently, Roll it on top. Now what you're gonna do is gently press the fondant against the cake. The frosting will act like glue, so it will stick to the fondant. And then you're gonna cut off the excess fondant at the bottom of the cake. Now that we've got the fondant on top of the cake, like that, you're gonna take your stone mold and I'm gonna press firmly it right into the fondant. I just finished the stone texture. I just put it on all of the sides. I'm gonna leave the top nice and smooth. And now I'm gonna take green vanilla buttercream frosting and I'm just gonna paint the cake tray so it looks like grass. Just finished all of the grass and now we are gonna assemble all of our castle pieces together and place them. And the reason I did the grass is because this frosting is really sticky. So when you place a column down, it will stick really, really easy and it looks pretty cool. Ta-da! Here is our castle cake, it's all done. These look so cool. We've got our pillars. All five of them. This one's a little bit shorter up here. I love the little detail work. I added little handles and stuff. I hope you guys like it. And I've decided that this cake is gonna be a Princess Peach Castle cake. I got my little Princess Peach figurines. And this is how you can make your cake look like anything. You can throw a dragon on it. You can throw a red wedding on it. <laughs> That's a Game of Thrones joke. Okay, so we look, we got a little peach up here. 
And maybe she's with Mario, and he's like, woohoo! Oh yeah! And then Bowser's down here like, ah, oh, dang it, I'm not invited. Hey, uh, Peach, you should like totally come down here and I won't capture you, I promise. Okay, like that sounds safe. Excuse me, Mario. Oh no, I get captured again! <laughs> I hope you guys liked the episode. Thanks for watching. If you have any other ideas for any of the Nutsu Dummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. Okay, thanks you guys. Bye bye.